Okay, hello, hello. Good morning, evening, night, wherever, whatever time zone it is that you're at. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Uh, I'm back. I'm not dead. Hooray. <laughs> um, today we're back with another VOD review, and this time it is Vicus. It is a Vicus VOD review with uh, the one and only iGen Damon's Whore, aka Bowser's, aka Frizer's. I think that is your Discord name now. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, sorry about the late upload. This thing was supposed to come out like two months ago or something, and I may or may not have accidentally deleted the base footage while I was uh, cleaning out my hard drive. So that's fun. It's not an excuse for me uploading late. The real excuse is that I procrastinated for like two months and then Bao had to like remind me like five times and I still didn't do it. So <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm just lazy. But I'm gonna use me accidentally deleting the, the VOD as an excuse. Anyways, um welcome to today's VOD review. Uh this is a Helbia run, I think somewhat recently. I don't know when you shot this, Bao. But somewhat recently, VOD, uh, somewhat recently VOD of um, of your Helbia, and you said you didn't do too well on it, so I'll try to go a little easier. But I'm gonna call shit out. <laughs> I'm just gonna call shit out. Not partic maybe not for you if you already know like the things that I'm I'm saying, like the points or the tips I'm making. But just for anyone else in general who wants, who may not know about the things that I'm talking about, or who may not know some of the tips or some of the things I'm pointing out. So uh, keep that in mind. Don't take anything too personally. This is just a lot of real. Uh, I don't know. Anything in Lost Ark stays in Lost Ark. If I flame you too hard for something, uh, don't kill me. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. That's enough chit chat. Um, I don't know when this starts. Okay, we can skip trash mobs. I'm thirsty. I just came back from lecture too, so I already restarted this recording like twice because I couldn't talk because I don't know. I'm just not. Things are not going well today. I'm not thinking, but whatever. I also just went to my local CVS and picked up a jug of that all no Palmer shit, like that the half the half lemonade. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. The half lemonade and the uh, half iced tea. Oh, it's so it's so fucking good. It's so uh, dude. This shit fucking. Sla I I still like regular tea more, but regular iced tea more. But this shit slaps so hard. Uh, do you guys skip? Thank God. I, I do not want to see a cussing. All right. Show charge bash. Show bash. Good. 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 Taunt. What the fuck? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, right off the bat, your skill rotation is weird. I. What? What is? But what is this? What is this skill rotation? I uh, this was good, right? Right here, this was bash, shield bash. That's good. Taunt, that's fine. Shield shock. Shield shock. That's. Here's something you have to understand about blue gun lancer, right? Blue gun lancer has a very distinct skill priority, right? Um, and you want to fit all like more most of your skill priority skills into your bash window, right? Because bash gives you, I think it's this attack buff right here look at that that attack buff it's like what 20 30 percent extra damage for like six seconds uh and it, you want to fit essentially all of your highest damage skills in that window right so that means highest damage skills this one garden thunderbolt that is a massively big high damage skill this one leap leap attack that also very big very high damage show charge that's your third right i'm gonna mark them for you one two three right these are some of your highest damage skills. Not this. This skill is dog shit. This, this is good because you all you can always follow up a bash with a shield bash. So these these are like two pins in a pot. So always use these together. Uh, not always, right? There's always a, an exception to a rule. Uh, not this. Nella, that is not a high damage skill. So last time I checked, that thing did no damage. And not taunt because last time I checked, that thing did like 100k. So... <laughs> So keep this in mind, right? Your highest priority should always be Garden Thunderbolt if it's up, right? If it's up, this first, and then look for Leap Attack, and then look for Show Charge, and then do whatever. Actually, do do Bash first, right? Do Bash first. So your priority should be Bash, right? Bash, this is always first, right? And then you wanna see if Show Bash is up. If Show Bash is up, you Show Bash. That is a terrible color. And then you wanna go down this priority, right? Garden Thunderbolt, if it's up, and then leap attack if it's up, and then this one. 
uh, show charge. So that's the priority you want to go. Uh, I'll just draw in red. That's the priority you want to go through. Um, not yeah. Just so just 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 keep 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 in mind, right? You want to use your highest damage skills in that window. Don't try not to use this. Try not to use taunt, Nella, or show shock. Okay, uh, that's enough. Continue. God, I'm my my fucking speaking abilities are horrible today. Jesus, I'm like half asleep, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so your initial rotation kind of weird. Show bash, bash. I'm okay with that. Uh, sorry, bash, show bash. It's so hard to, so hard to. I'm so used to show bash, bash from um, health. And also, what is this? You have skills up. You you have a lot of shields. You can tank this, by the way. Uh, Zyla, Zyla does not does not do much damage, especially to blue gun answer. Also, you're playing blue gun answer. That's in my personal preference. I think red is easier and just better and more fun, but you know, to each their own. So I, I, I would highly urge you to try blue gun, sorry, not blue gun lancer, to try red gun lancer, um, if you get a chance to, but no judgment, you play you play whatever you like, right? Also, I feel like red gel helps you learn to fight more, so it is what it is. Uh, this is fine, this is good, show bash bash, use show charge. One of the biggest differences, oh my pen, one of the biggest differences between um, Staggerbot and Blue Gel is that this skill, your show charge, becomes one of your highest damaging skills. So this is no longer a useless distance closer. This now becomes a damaging skill uh, uh, instead of a, a, a movement skill, right? Because um, it does good damage. It's good. So you want to, I mean, it does less than Garden Thunderbolt or Leap Attack, but it still does a good amount of damage. So you want to keep that, you want to keep that in mind and try to keep this skill in as a part of your, uh, your rotation. Let's keep going. See, look, uh, a non-crit hit for like 300k, and it ticks very often. So try to use that skill as a part of your damage rotation. Also, I think you did this without a... Oh, no, it wasn't a bash window. Never mind. That's fine. All right, this is fine. You guys got purple. Nice. Swift GL, your everything else looks good. This is fine. Did you just taunt... In your show stance. Oh my god, you just committed a cardinal sin. All GLs across the world hate you now. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was pain. This is fine. You did your leap attack. I'm like 90% sure that leap attack was not in your bash window. Was it in your bash window? I can't tell. Three, two. Oh, you did it barely just in your bash window. Look at that. That thing's on like 0.3 seconds. Okay. That's good. Your port, also show shock, this skill does not do that much damage, right? This skill does not do that much damage. You, this is, your priority is, I know I already said this, but just to make it more clear, your priority is one, two, three, four, right? This is your least high priority skill. So try to, try to get these three skills out before you get show shock, because uh, that's how priority works. Uh, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. Oh, get out of your turtle stance. You can run. You have legs. <laughs> stop. Stop it. <laughs> stop crawling, bro. It's you. Look, you're you're draining your show meter for no reason. Look, 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 look. let's uh, take a peek at your show meter. Right, it was full. You stayed in show stance, and now it's half gone. And now it's all gone. And now you're gonna take big damage. Yeah, just 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 walk. Just walk. You have legs. <laughs> just walk. You'll take you you'll you'll take less damage. Okay, so just just get out of your shield stance. I promise you. First of all, you'll keep your shield. Second of all, you do less. You'll 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 take less damage. There we go. So j just walk. That that pattern, especially purple air rate, is not worth being shield stance for. It is worth to be in shield stance for the last hit if you think you're not gonna make it like out of a big AOE explosion, but. If you're just dodging the small AOEs in the beginning, just walk. Turn off your show sense. Just walk. This is fine. Okay, I I, I like this ulti here. This ulti here replenish. That was very smart. To replenish shields, that's good. Oh my god, you got clipped. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One tip for this pattern here. Stop. Just same thing I told you last Helton, right? You're doing too much. Stop. <laughs> just calm down. Stop touching the mouse. Just set it down, right? Just calm down, right? All you had to do, look, 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 look. All you had to do here was, let me let me rewind a little bit. 
look, okay. All you have to do, right, is behind Morpheus, right? Whenever you see, uh, uh, Mor is this Morpheus? Yeah, Nightmare Morpheus. Uh, wh whenever you see Morpheus about to kick, draw a, a draw a vertical line or across him. Or whether, is this vertical? I don't know. Draw like a line through him, right? From his front attack indicator to his back attack indicator, right? Draw a line through him. Anywhere in this area, like anywhere behind him is always safe. It's always safe. That's my that's my go-to strategy on, on artillerists. If I see him about to kick, I if I see him about to do a kick, I just walk into the zone. I, I just park myself there and I start dropping skills because I know I'm always going to be safe. So whenever you see about kick, just come into the space, right? No need to walk, no need to, you know, go around. You like you went the big loop there and you got kicked because I'm assuming you were trying to dodge the kick, but it ended up backfiring because he ended up kicking this way. So uh, next time, no need to be fancy, right? Don't be fancy. Be principled. Just be principled. Walk behind him. You know, you got. You can even start bashing, show bashing. Although I wouldn't recommend it because I have died to show bashing uh, and end up getting too close, and I got clipped by the two frisbees that he sends out. Right? That those look like boobs. Whatever. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, but I did end up getting clipped. Uh, I did end up getting clipped by those frisbees once, and they just demolished me. So keep a good distance. It's all good. Also, your bar is incredibly. This this is painful to see. Look at this. Look how many cool you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cooldowns. Almost eight cooldowns. About to be off CD. Uh, oh, I. Uh, <laughs> Oh my! I, I maybe maybe it's just a once at a time thing. I don't know, but that that's it's rough to see. Fix your rotation. S stop! Stop with stop with this and this. That and that is is. I think you're trying to care. I think you saw feathers and you were like, oh, I gotta protect my teammates. So I'm going to Nella. Feathers is not a pattern that you want to Nella on purple side. All right. If the DPS die, they're stupid. That's their fault. Not your fault. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, there are many, many more dangerous patterns in purple side that you want to be saving Nella for or using Nella for. One of which is uh, air raid is a good Nella pattern. I, I don't usually Nella air raid. Sometimes I do, but um, I play red, so I just counter gun as air raid. DPS can suck it. <laughs> um, um, what other pattern? Donuts. Donuts you absolutely want to have either taunt or Nella for. Because either of those skills makes donuts incredibly easy. Like DPS can just get clapped by donuts, and as long as you have Nella, they will they will just live, which is insane. It's like a free godsend. Um, dash you can preempt you can pr try to predict the dash that one works too. Otherwise, mostly just donuts. I think if I see another pattern, I'll let you know. But yeah, try not to use Nella off CD, especially for patterns like feathers right this is not a dangerous pattern feathers is not going to kill anyone especially someone with a brain so try to save nella also skill priority once again i'm sure you already know this i'm just being a dead horse right now but that's okay hi uh what is this slow reaction speed what happened what were you, did you like use a skill or something How'd you miss it? Oh, he just taunted too late. Ah, uh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, you just had to be ready. Was your hand on the S key? Cause um, whenever he's in an idle state like this, my hand is constantly on the S key, or on the W key in my case, because I know he's either he could do dash, he could do some other like random bullshit pattern. If he does, I'm ready to taunt. So I, I don't know. Maybe your hand was off the keyboard or something. Maybe uh, something else. Whatever. But um, that's just unfortunate. Yeah. Also, in this case, if you had Nella, this would have been much easier. So it's okay. We keep going. This is fine. You can't tank this. You can't. You're gonna die. Oh my God! How did you not die? You can't tank this. By the way, you cannot tank this. Uh, especially with battlefield shield, you got lucky. None of your DPS took damage. You battlefield shield there. Uh, you battlefield shielding there is actually causes more of a uh, uh, of a nuisance. Is that how you say it? A nuisance. It, it's it causes more trouble than it's worth. You know what I mean? Um, because look, we'll keep going, right? First of all, you can't just stand there. 
Actually, you can, but I don't know what the idea was. They went, Miss Taunt, and you started standing there. Look, you, the first thing you should be looking for when you miss a taunt is to get out, right? You want to get out because, look, you have one DPS hero, two DPS hero who is not ready for the donut, and you are, quote unquote, you're directly in the path of one of them, at least. But I think they were Giga Chat, so they just walked around. But your first priority should be to get out and not stand still. If you stand still, first of all, your shields get drained incredibly quickly. Um, and second of all, you're just a barricade right now for your team. So try to be mindful of that. Uh, user, you can use, oh, you can have a backup. You can you have shield charge, you can shield charge out, just a straight line. You don't have counter gun lens either. Oh, fuck. You might just die. <laughs> Which is not good, but I digress. So you wiggle a little bit here. God, God bless your DPS. They are fucking, they're weird and saying. This was... That was an incredibly risky and dangerous play, and I would not have done it, especially because you just landed directly on the um, on the 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 dangerous part of the donut, right? So look, you landed here, right? So in this case, if either this DPS or this DPS took a hit from like the dangerous part here or there, you guys might have even died. You guys might have taken massive damage and died because. Um, yes, Battlefield Show is good. It does soak up a lot more damage now and dish out a lot more damage back. But Donuts is not a pattern to, to, to Battlefield Show then. Because if more people take damage, you could potentially die. You could just die. Like, you, if, even if you Battlefield Show, try the Battlefield Show in like a safe spot, like here, right? This, this will still cover like all the rest of that, this area, but you'll reduce the damage that you take by at least a little bit. Uh, you know what I mean? But if you land here, you know, you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself. You're guaranteeing yourself some unavoidable damage, which is not ideal. Yeah, we'll go ahead and look. See? Oh, actually, I can't even see how much damage it took, but... It did pay... This play did pay off for you, but... I, I will say, it's not a play that, like... Also, your Guardian Thunderbolt and Leap Attack has not seen the light of the day for so long. Using Nella off, what are you Nella by the way? Uh, using Nella off, oh, maybe you're doing it for the Zaya, whatever. But um, try not to use Nella off cooldown. It's uh, it's not not a good habit. This is good, everything's good. Oh, that dash, that's rough. Did you try to taunt the dash? Don't taunt the dash. The dash is like almost untauntable. It's really bad. You have to, the only, um, the only quote unquote reliable way of taunting dash is being on the corner of him and being ready, right? So like in this instance, the only reliable way of taunting that is like standing either like here or here and just getting ready for taunt, right? You're using skill, but the only reliable way is to stand there and there, get your hand on your S key and get ready. Like any subtle movement that you see, any tell that say he might do a dash, aka he might like turn around a little bit. I don't I don't know. I think after you play Helbia enough, I, cause I just developed this like sense for when he's about to dash. Like, I don't know if anyone, is, is, I mean, Alyssa, like, after you play Helvia enough, you just kind of know when he's about to dash. Like, he he stands there for a couple seconds looking at you funny, and you're like, oh, he's about to fuck me up. <laughs> I'm, about my, I'm about to get my ass whooped by this guy. He's about, to, he's about to dash towards me on the next move. I can feel it, and he usually does. So I don't know. I, I don't know what the tell is for it, but he does, like, a weird movement, movement like, beforehand. He like, he, like, turns slowly or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, I don't know what the tell exactly is, but yeah. Did you end up taunting him? I think you did. Oh, don't hop back. Don't hop back. You're just you're not a, you're not head attack class. You're not playing red gel. You don't need to hop back. Look, look, look. You hop back and you just lost like what all of your shields. Hold on, look at this. Not good, not good. Look, okay, I'm gonna Alright, let's play this real quick. Oh god. Oh what did I do? There we go. Look, he did his two swings, right? The the hitbox for his two swings is here, right? That's the first swing hitbox. And the second swing is like here, right? He just, he slashes twice in front of him, right? If you stand in front, it is much more likely that you're gonna take both swings because those swings are deceivingly large, right? They they don't look that large, but they the hitbox for those swings are are insane. They're huge, 
right? So you, if you even if you back hop, oh shit, even if you back hop like I've done many a times, I would still get hit by the second dash. So the better play here actually is just to back hop through him and behind him, cause you're not hit master. No, you're. I mean, you're not. You're not. You're not a front attack. You don't need to go for like head attacks or some shit. Just, just get behind them. Get safe, right? And all's hunky, all's dory. You know what I mean? So, uh, another thing to keep in mind. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, he lived. What a giga chat support. Nice show patch. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that show patch. I'm just gonna pretend. Also, scope priority once again. We already know. This is fine. This is good. No need to know it there. It's a kick. If your DPS can't survive a kick, I don't know. It's time to send them to training camp or some shit. It's time to disown them. Go away, DPS. Time to find new DPS. Yeah, you can't, you can't stand behind them for two seconds. No way. It's, it's time to disown them. N not my raiders no more. I'm just kidding. Don't disown DPS. Just teach them. <laughs> don't disown. I don't consent to disowning DPS or disowning players because they can't dodge kick because I've been the person that have died to kick before and I, it, it does not feel good. <laughs> Accidents do happen. So, oh good, this is good, this is good. Hi, uh, you have no shields, oh no. This will be a good time, oh you don't have Nella either, okay that's fine. That's fine, you, look at these extravagant movements that you're making. You're like, look how large that movement is. Just uh, like, oh, 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 my my brethren. Look, 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 look. You saw Morpheus looking this way, right? He was about to dash that way. You went here. Look how far you look, Mama. Look how far away you are. Like you, you if even if you were trying to get to Morpheus. Uh, from where he is, look how far you have to go, and look far how far you have to go to get to where he's going to be. This, I mean, uh, this dash. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this dash is no damage, right? Does this dash actually do damage? No, it doesn't. The dash is like no damage, right? I'm like ninety percent sure that it does no damage. So you've distanced yourself to a spot where you, first of all, you can't get to him where he was, and you can't get to where he is. Small movements. You see him dashing over here? Start heading back immediately. Small movements. I would not even swing out this far. I swing out up to like maybe here at most. So just try to try to keep things uh, try to keep things concise, right? Try to keep things smaller movements, smaller movements. That was good. I I like how you turned back there. That was nice. Yeah, the dash is no damage. This is good. Uh, wow, what are you doing to me? Why do you have seven cooldowns? Your blue gun lancer, your whole game plan is uptime. Oh, what are you doing to me, Bowsers? This, this I can forgive. Maybe you're saving taunt, whatever. This, 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 and this. Mama mia, what are, you're killing me about? What is this? Uh, okay. You just you know what? I'm not gonna go too harsh. Just remember to use your cooldowns. Use your cooldowns. Holy well oh my god. Wow, oh, you're killing me. What was the taunt? <laughs> right after I was like, oh maybe you were saving taunt, you know, for like a mechanic. You you taunted air. Oh mama mia, what is this taunt about? Oh mama, you gave him less CD time. You gave you buff Morpheus with that taunt. Oh mama mia. Okay, use use your bash. Use your bash. You can't tank the line. Just tank the line. Look how much shields you have. Just tank that line. Go for the front attack. You don't need to dodge. Look how you have Nella and you have this shield, and you have a bar. You have an ulti. Bro, tank the line. Just tank the line. A damage, damage, uptime. Uptime, bow, uptime. You, uh, go play some Final Fantasy. Like, the number one rule in Final Fantasy, I've learned, was always be casting. I, we uh, apply this to you in Lost Ark. Always be casting. ABCs of Lost Ark. ABCs of, of Blue Gun Lancer game, but always be casting. God, stay in your show stance. This is not a pattern worth greeting, by the way. This pattern kills Gun Lancers. This pattern, if you stand here, can insta-kill a Gun Lancer. It's ridiculously strong because you get hit with this like this line oe and you get hit with this line oe and you get hit 
with landing AOE. That's why this hurts so much. This, this, this part right here, this is a danger zone. This part kills you like instantly. It hurts so fucking bad. This pattern, I would not greed. I would, I, this is like one of the only patterns I would not greed. I'm terrified of this pattern. Every other pattern I'm pretty fine with, I'm terrified of this fucking pattern. So try not to greed that pattern. That pattern, um, unless you're a Giga Chad or unless you have too much cooldowns to burn. That's fine. Oh, mama mia. Your Guardian's Thunderbolt was not in your Bash window. No, how you wanna know how I know? Because the Bash is like one thing off cooldown. Mama mia, there's no... Oh, what are you doing to me? Okay, two rules, all right? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop pausing on this. I'm gonna stop explaining so much. Two rules, right? Highest damage and skills, follow your skill priority, right? Guardian's Thunderbolt, Leap Attack, Shield Charge, and then Shield Shock, right? Actually, three rules. We'll add another one in there. Second rule, always show bash after bash, right? A good rule. Those two, uh, show bash bash, are a match made in heaven for both Staggerbot, which is show bash bash, and regular, regular Blue Gun Lancer, which is bash, show bash, right? So always show bash after bash. Uh, third rule, fit your high priority skills in your bash window, right? If your bash window is about to run out, just wait for the next bash window and then continue your priority list, right? So for example, I bash, I show bash, I use Guardian Thunderbolt, I use Leap Attack or whatever, and oh no, my bash timer or my bash energy is about to run out or my bash like buff up time, I will hold Shield Charge, right? I will hold Shield Charge for like two seconds, my bash comes back, I bash, Shield Bash, Shield Charge, Shield Shock, whatever, right? Does that make sense? All right, that's just, keep that in mind. Just keep those rules in mind and you'll see your damage, you'll see your damage just jump exponentially. All right, we'll keep going. This is fine. By the way, another Linus tech tip. Um, if you see that your taunt is up, and if you see that the boss has like, what, like 10 seconds or above uh, on his time, uh, taunt timer cooldown, I will use, especially because of how low you are on shields, right? Gunlands without shields is just pathetic. It's sad. <laughs> a Gunlands on shields is just like an orphan in an orphanage. That's a terrible compare. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense at all. What the? A gun lancer without shields is like the 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 contents of a sandwich of without the bread. You're just eating a breadless sandwich. It's it's stupid. It's it's tasteless. It's dumb. It's bad. Don't. It's like you're eating a salad. If you wanna, if you want, just fucking. If you wanna eat a breadless sandwich, just fucking buy a salad. Why are you eating a bread? It's, it's like just play base classes. It's just I don't know. Play berserker at this point. I, I, you might as well. Right, so always, these are some terrible, I am not doing well talking today. This is, talking is hard. I'm gonna continue. Anyways, just keep in mind, get some shields. <laughs> get, get some shields. Uh, and if you see the taunt timer is about to, uh, has like 10 seconds or above, use your taunt, right? Because first of all, it applies synergy. Second of all, you get shields. So remember what I said, taunt is always good. Taunt, always taunt. That can be taken out of, always taunt is probably not good. Don't just tank it. Walk. Walk. I know you want to show off your gunlancer, but walk. Your shields are more important. You can walk two steps. You don't you don't have to show off your gunlancer by standing. You're impressing no one. Just walk. <laughs> just walk. You can outwalk the circle. Alright, we'll see. Oh, you're fucking typing. <laughs> Stop typing. Oh my god. This is good. Stop. Okay, don't nail on kick. Stop, stop it. Don't nail on kick. Do not nail on kick. Nail on kick is sacrilege. I've, I'm, it wasn't sacrilege, but I've deemed it sacrilege at this moment. Okay, this. Also, seven cooldowns again. Uh, keep, the main takeaway I want you to have on uh, from this VOD review is to look at your hotbar. Let me, like, look at this. Oh my god. I, uh, uh, yeah, it hurts, Bowie. It hurts. It hurts me to see this many skills on cooldown. Oh, mama mia! And you have no shields, so all taunt is definitely gonna be a good option soon. I will taunt next pattern, no matter what it is. Your also your skills has been on cooldown for so long. Oh my god! I don't know what pattern he did, but that's that's fine. Good taunt. Okay, show shock sucks. Don't use show shock. This is fine. You're leap attacking without bash buff. Oh, that's sad. That's okay. This is fine. Okay. Remember your show charge. 
That's fine. Good taunt here. I like that taunt. That taunt was good. That is a tech that I don't even think I, I've watched like even like I watch like Needle play on that a few times, and sometimes Needle doesn't even do that tech. Um, the tech is if with Morpheus is about to do donuts or some mechanic, you can taunt like towards the middle because he appears in the middle before his character model shows up, right? So you can taunt in the middle and you'll hit him, and you'll first of all you'll apply the debuff of taunt. Second of all, you'll gain more shields, and third of all, Morpheus doesn't do a taunt timer. Morpheus doesn't become taunted because he's untauntable during that time, right? So you're essentially just replenishing your shields, applying more synergy, and uh, getting the most out of your taunt skill for essentially free. So that was good. So taunt whenever you see him about just going to the middle. That was good. And your taunt's going to come back up eventually, soon-ish anyway, so it's probably fine. That's good. That was good. I like how you waited for that garden. That was good. And it was in your bash window, which is nice. Bash. Hi, use your skills. There you go. Good bash. Oh, don't soak it. I mean, you could soak it, but actually soaking it might have been the big brain play because you gain more damage from combat readiness. Nella. Oh, you don't have Nella, nor you do have Taunt. Oh, that's sad. Don't, don't, no, no, you're going to die. Oh, mama, no. Don't battlefield. Stop battlefielding. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, not worth it. Do not, do not battlefield that pattern. You're not battlefielding anyone. Everyone is alive. Look, everyone's alive. They got shields. They're good. It's not worth it. They're all walking. It's all just focus on your own. You're playing too much for the team. And, uh, you know, it's not even... It, the, the problem is you're, you're trying to play a lot for the team. But the problem is, as Bujiao, you have... You can do damage too. You can play the game. Like your main focus is not actually supporting the team. Your main focus is still to do damage, but also support your team while doing damage. Like playing perfect Blue Gels G1 is just a good mix between doing damage, having great uptime, and playing as much for your team as possible, right? Get comfortable with playing this raid as Blue Gunlands first, and then play as support. If that makes sense, yeah. Do not battlefield on that pattern. That, that pattern is terrible for battlefield. I, uh, I I stand by that. Yeah, it's a complete garbage. It, it sucks. You, it just nine nine out of ten times you're just gonna die, which is just not good. Not Daijobu, but that's okay. Okay, we'll see. This is fine. Nice good taunt. That was good. That's fine. Nice good leap. That was good. Your guardian sun roll. Um. Again, bash window, right? Look at this. Look. Look, your leave attack is only, I think like only one of your hit of leave attack was in your um, attack buff, uh, your bash, uh, in, within your bash window, and your Guardian Thunderbolt was not in your bash window. So, uh, again, remember, Guardian Thunderbolt and leave attack, keep them in your bash windows. Those are two, those two are your most important, show bash. Nice, good. That was good. This is fine. This is good. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that bash. That was a good, good taunt. Good taunt to get shields. That was nice. Why do you bash Guardian Thunderbolt? Guardian. Why do you hate Guardian Thunderbolt? What did Guardian Thunderbolt do to you? <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> well, I I don't understand why you hate that skill so much, but. I'm gonna drill this idea into your mind. Do not that skill is bis. I love that skill. It's look look how fun it is to use too. You like use summon lightning like fucking Thor. That's fucking like Zeus. You're like a god. It's sick. This is fine. This is good. Everything has okay. Nice back hop. I like that. That was good. Uh, hi. No. Uh, your shields about listen. Listen. Okay. Shields is not do you uh, shields don't grow on trees all right shields is an important resource that that shit does not grow on trees try to conserve it if you can don't just it, playing blue gel doesn't mean you can just ignore mechanics especially in helbia right losing shield here me means you won't be able to lose shield on mechs that you can use shield to greed on you know what i mean for example kick maybe you want to tank a kick I don't know why, but maybe if you want to tank a kick, now you don't have that shield. You can't tank a kick anymore. Uh, I don't know what's some other pattern that you like, dash or something, or like the the pizza, the the backward pizza, or whatever. If you want to uh, tank that pattern for more damage, you can't anymore because you just wasted the shields on 
this pattern, right? Try to not, try, yeah, don't, like, like, look, you're, oh, that, look, look how much shield you dropped. That is, try to, try to conserve your shields. Like, on this pattern, yeah. This is fine, this is fine. Oh, shield bash. This is good, this is fine. That's good, get rid of the taunt. Why, when he's idling like that, um, this is one tip I will give when he's do you see how long he just idled for like he just did not do anything for a while when he's idling like that uh, the rule the rule of thumb is you also do, don't do anything if he's not doing anything you also don't do anything and the reason is because when he's idling like that he's about to do a mechanic and that mechanic could be donuts on purple side it could be dash it could be air raid any one of those patterns you want to be ready with a taunt for. In this case, you got lucky, you used all your skills, and he still hasn't made a move yet, and you were able to taunt successfully. But imagine what would happen if you were doing a leap attack and he was about to leap up, right? He started his leap animation while you were doing a leap attack. That's how you miss taunts. So while he's idling like that, while he's not doing anything, you also don't do anything, right? All you have to do when he's idling is to keep your mouse on, sorry, not your mouse, Keep your finger on the taunt button and just wait to see what he does, all right? And then you can react accordingly afterwards. If he's doing bad pattern, taunt. If he's not, then continue with your combos. This is fine. I'm assuming, is this? Okay, I'm assuming you might need to see this. Okay, this is, yeah, you do, you got the game. Yeah, that's fine. This is good. Oh, apply, actually what? Yeah, apply your taunt energy here, cause um, your scrapper is gonna thank you for it. Look, now your scrapper is gonna do their whole burst rotate, cause they have all their cooldowns, right? This is a big burst window. Uh, when they have all their cooldowns, and when it's worth to give up a taunt and to apply that energy. I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely taunt there. That's fine, but this is fine. Good Nella, that's fine. This is good. Good greed. Use your show shock. You don't have to, by the way, blue gun lancer is not paramount for you to get head attack. Head attack is nice, but it is not paramount because most of your skills, like Garden Thunderbolt is not front attack, leap attack is not front attack, show charge is not, like through your biggest damaging skills, it's not a front attack. And these skills that are front attacks are like sub DPS skills. So it is not paramount. It's more important for you to get your prior skills out, like Garden Thunderbolt, leap attack out under show bash buff uh, rather than getting head attacks. So now you know. This is good. I see that you're still using show charge as a movement skill, which makes sense probably because you came from expertise, right? So that's the, the, it's just a reasonable thing to think of. This is good. I'm assuming y'all did Velga. Nice. Good. Good taunt. This is fine. This is good. I like that. See, look, look, look. That was good. Wait, did you get that garden? Did you get that garden thunderbolt under? You did. See, look at that. It's fucking twelve k. That is that is a big damage, big dickest damage. That was good. Zyla, this is a this is a good Nella pattern if your support teams it. Oh, they they wrap it too. I would save Nella, but that's okay. That's good. This is fine. Nice, good garden thunderbolt. That was good. Got it within the window. Bash, show bash. Nice, good. Look at that. Look. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That is what Blue Gun Answer is all about. Having your whole hot bar on cooldown, that, mm, mama mia, that's biss. Now I hit him with the bash, shield bash, leap attack, leap attack, guard, oh, Garden Thunderbolt, nice. Hit him with the leap attack, bash, shield bash, leap attack, leap attack. That pattern is okay for taunting, but it's been a while since you taunted, so that was good. Nice, it's good, that's good. Show shock is good. You start playing better here, which is nice. I like this. Bash, show bash, show charge or something. I would taunt here. Look how long he has on taunt cooldown. I would just taunt for synergy. Don't tank it. You're gonna look how much look, you just lost half your shields. Don't tank it. No, don't tank that. Oh, I mean to be fair you're playing blue, so you just got it right back. But don't tank, it's still not worth it. That's good. This is fine. I uh, look, you use your leap attack. Look, it was only the five mil and two mil. You use it without shield bash. It's a sag. Try remember always fit these skills in under your bash. Your bash is important. 
Very important. Okay, this is good. I'm assuming you guys stagger. Yeah. That's good. Nice Guardian Thunderbolt. You can taunt here, by the way. You can taunt here for synergy. It's the same situation as like donuts, right? If you taunt during donuts, he's not going to get taunted and you get to apply synergy. You get to get shows back, yada, yada. Same thing with this. Uh, as uh, If you have taunt up here, use the taunt because by the time you're done with orbs, it'll come back. Nice. That was good taunt. Show bash, show bash. That was good. You can greet a little more. Actually, that's fine. Okay, you got the orbs, which is good. Nice. Bash, show bash. Nice. Show shock. Show shock. Uh, yeah. I've, I've said it too many times. You know what I'm about to say. You have taunt ready. I would be looking to taunt next pattern. He's idling. I would not do anything here. Okay. This is good. This is fine. Bash. That was good. GT. Nice. Get ready to taunt. Nice, great taunt. That was good. I like that. Oh, that's rough though. Okay, I'm gonna. See. Yeah, yeah. You have taunts. Get rid of the taunt. Nice, good. See, that was good. See how you idled there? You just didn't do anything. You waited to see what he was gonna do during this idle phase. He's idling. He's just NPC walking. He was about to Zyla. Taunt. Perfect. Mama me. I mean, your scrapper probably hates you, but Mama mia. <laughs> Poor Scrapper got fucking yoinked. That, that poor bat, yep, that did no more back attack. But I, I like that. That was good. This is good. Nanella was a little weird. I don't know. If, I'm not sure about Nanella, but. All good. You guys do it? All good. Your team was pumping. That was good. Lion is tech tip. Okay. Line is tech tip for purple side, by the way. So you know how in the purple side, you go in and you take like a big amount of damage here and he does like the ground slam AOE. As gun lancer, you actually want to take this hit. If you have enough shields or if you're red gun lancer with kind of gun lance, you want to take this hit and here's why. Because sometimes immediately after he does AOE, he can just go straight into donuts. He can go into donuts, he can do air raid, he can do all sorts of shit like that, right? And if, if you are here, you can't taunt. Your taunt range is like, what, like here? That's your taunt range, right? You can't reach him with a taunt. So you want to get as close to him as possible. You just want to take the L on the shields, and you want to be in a spot where you can taunt the, the donuts, the air raid, or whatever it is, right? This, 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 this is one of the only hits that you want to tank on this fight. So especially because you have full shields, right? Tank this hit, tank this hit. Yeah, see, like, look at this. He, watch what patterns he's gonna do. He's gonna, oh, he walked. But imagine if that walk was like donuts or something, right? If that was donuts, not, would not been able to taunt. You would not have been able to taunt it because you're too far away. So that's the reasoning why. Uh, good taunt, that was good. That's fine, that was good. Good, you got your good prowl skills in your window. Jesus Christ, I'll leave it out. Jeez, holy shit. Okay, that's fine. You don't have Nella. So it's not, that uh, ulti was not worth it. Also, don't get too close. Don't get too close to here. Um, because this, Gun Lancer is thick. Gun Lancer's hitbox is like that big. And his cone is like here. Oh, sorry, I should use a different color. His cone is like here, uh, whatever, like here to like here, right? Or whatever it is, right? I don't know how big it is, but it's like, it's, it's, it, it clips you is my point, right? You get clipped, you get clipped by this. Or wherever, wherever it is, you get clipped by this, like little area. So you take actually a massive amount of damage if you're tank, if you're like hugging him. I've died to it multiple times before because I was hugging the boss. Um, try to stay away a little bit. Use your distance skills. Use your like longer range skills, like Guardian Thunderbolt or Leap Attack, uh, instead of you know, Show Bash Bash. Especially Show Bash. Show Bash will get you killed in this. Especially also Show Shock. That show will get you killed. So. Dash, unfortunate. Oh, that's so unfortunate. His taunt timer was like one second. Rip. It's okay. Nice. Go walk. Oh, you could have just walked. Use your back hop. Back hop is a very important tool. Use your back hop. You don't need to walk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you did not need to go into show stance there. You just lost that much shield for essentially. Well, you have taunt, so I can't complain. See, look how look how fucking stupidly big that hitbox is. You were like. You were, you were, oh, I can't fucking pause. Why can't I pause it? That's such. 
Hold on. Look, you were you were here. Look how lar look at this. You were here and you got hit by that hitbox. Look how that 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 shit's fucking dumb. Look at it. Look at it. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Smell. Look what the fuck. He's got the longest arms. He's a fucking Slenderman. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is fine. Good dark. Oh, unfortunate. This is okay. Cooldowns. Use your cooldowns. Nice. Good taunt. This is good. This is good. Careful on the wall. The donuts are gonna... Oh, those donuts are fucking dangerous. Jesus Christ. That's horrifying. Nice. Good. Out. Good. Taunt's almost up. Oh... I don't, was that intentional? Did you know he was in teleport? If you did, that's some mega IQ shit, but... Oh, they called it. They called it. Never mind. That was still a good taunt, though. I like that. Two planet shields, apply synergy. That was good. That was good. Okay. You have taunt next pattern. I would be expecting it. Hi, you're too far away. No. Oh, that's so sedge. That's okay. This is good. This is fine. Everything here is fine. You're so far away. Oh my god. Get closer. Yeah, there you go. Gunlancer do not want to be far away from the boss. They have too much stuff that's distant reliant. If you're far away, you can't do anything as Gunlancer. You're essentially just paperweight. So, paperweight with a massive gun lens and a shield. Okay, so this is good. This is fine. Everything here is okay. Taunt, taunt. Oh, mama mia. Yeah, that that pattern is that pattern is a very good pattern to taunt. It's um, that's no debate. Don't taunt this pattern. Don't try to taunt dash. It's not worth it. Don't try to taunt dash unless you're extremely comfortable with it, to the point where you know when the dash is about to happen. Like at some point you you'll play gun answer enough. I don't know if you'll actually play gun answer enough, but sometime at, at some point. All for all my gun lancer viewers out there, for at some point you'll just know when dash is coming, and that's when you want to taunt. That's when you want to or can use taunt that pattern. What is going on? Is this like a ping issue? I I, I don't like. <laughs> the stars have aligned. This is like there has been like two to three perfect scenarios. Like, uh, is it like a reaction speed thing, or is it like like a ping issue? Like, like I, I don't. You were like, st you were standing there. You were ready. Tom was off cooldown. Oh, Tom was not off cooldown. Okay, that was why. Okay, never mind. I didn't see. Okay, I thought you just missed it. I was like, oh my god, there's no way. But no. Jesus Christ, this boss is not being good to you right now. That's okay. Oh, we're uh okay. I thought I thought you were just leaving to leave. I was like, yeah, see, don't don't show bash there. Show bash fucking gets you doing. Not ideal. This is fine. Bring the middle. Also, mind your cooldowns. This is fine. This is good. Get rid of the taunt. That was good. You know what? That was good. That was good. I I respect I respect the idea. I like that idea. That was a good idea. I liked it. Man, the show charge animation they did for it was fucking sick though. Holy shit! Look at that. I respect that. See, look, that's what I'm talking about. He could do this. Like, as soon as he does a slam, like, uh, when you first transition purple, he could do this. This, this shit sucks, right? He could immediately go straight from mech to donuts. And that's that's the reason why you want to uh, go in and tank the first hit. Because if he does donuts like this, right, after you tank the first hit, you're ready with a taunt. So, the more you know. You're gonna use Nella, maybe, perhaps? No, no Nella, that's okay. By the way, mind your cooldowns, you have Nella up. Just get ready with Nella. I would be getting ready to taunt next pattern. Nice, good taunt, that was good, I like that. Leap attack, that was a perfect rotation, that was perfect. Look at that, shield bash, oh sorry, bash, shield bash, garden, thunderbolt, leap attack, that was, that was icing on the cake. Perfect, that was textbook. And then you use your filler skills. Perfect. And now you have show bash, bash, show bash again, and you have show charge. Bash, show, bash, perfect. And you have show charge. Okay, no show charge, but that's okay. 
You have bash, shield bash, your rotation's back up. So you can use your rotation again. Bash. You can go into combat. By the way, Xyla is one of the patterns you can tank. Just go into your combat readiness stance and, sorry, go into your turtle stance and you can just tank it. It's free DPS for gun lancers. Even on red. Oh, oh, let's go! That was good. That was good. I thought you were guarding. I thought you, I'm not gonna lie. I thought you were you were going to guard in Thunderbolt. That was nice. That was good. See, you were patient. You waited for that. You waited while he was idling, and you taunted. That was perfect. That was textbook. I like that. I enjoyed that. That was nice. Perfect. Look at this. And now you have Bash, Shield Bash. Oh, but you did use your Guardian Thunderbolt out of your Bash window. But it's okay. Your taunted donut makes up for it. It's okay. Okay. Leap attack. Leap attack. Nice, good, 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 good. Bash, yo, bash. Don't follow the clone. Don't get bamboozled. That was good. Good taunt. You like your knowledge of this fight is pretty, pretty good. You know some tips and tricks that some, like even some of the better gun lancers I have seen don't know. So that was, this is good. This is good. You're doing, you're doing good. Next step is just refining more. Like I think. Maybe it's because you, you're like focused on the support aspect of playing Gun Lancer a lot more, but um, try to focus more on like the actual playing and dealing damage part of Gun Lancer. I think that's gonna that's what's gonna elevate your G1 game and help your team clear faster. That's good, good. Okay, you do this. This is good. I don't even need to see it. It's fine. Get rid of taunt. Nice, good taunt. Perfect. Guardian Thunderbolt. Deep attack. No, I'm, fine. I'm, about to, I'm about to go over there and take that shit off your skill bar. What the? You, you love that skill way too much, bro. That just sucks. Stop it. <laughs> Stop using it. All right, all right, all good. Okay, hit him with a bash, show bash, show charge, show charge. All good. Show shock is okay. This is fine. Just live. Alting, okay, alting on this pattern is extremely dangerous for a few reasons. If you're all in a bad spot, you can get clapped super quickly. So I would be careful alting here. A much better option is just to Nella. Nella gives you like, what, like 70% DR or some shit stupid like that? Just Nella. Nella and your whole team survives, right? Alting, um, there's better uses for alties, right? Alti, you can plunge your shield to full. Alti, you can... Uh, you can help VIP some people if you don't don't have taunt. You know, it's they're just much better uses for ulti. So try to save your ulti for something else and use your Nella. Okay, this is fine. You have taunt ready. No, you don't. Yeah, I will wait like two patterns for taunt. You had you can do you, did you taunt here? You did. Nice. That was good. This is good. That was fine. This is good. Everything else is fine. This is good. I mean, most of your gameplay is pretty good. That 30 second timer is fucking pain, though. You guys have Nita Bay. Oh shit. Are you gonna. Are you gonna get sent? Oh, you went to mini. Oh, perfect. Oh, you guys send Nita Bay. You guys just win. Do you guys go for the taunt Nita Bay? Oh, that dash is brutal. Holy fuck. Oh, oh, you're dead. You did not die from that? Oh my god, you're insane. Good time stop. Yeah, you'll be fine. Let's get rid of the taunt. Oh, do it here. Send the invite here. Send the invite here. Did you guys not have lead or some shit? Or did the bard just not send? Oh. Did you guys, oh, you guys, you guys won anyways. That's all good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, so a few things, a few main takeaways from G1. Uh, skill priority, skill priority, and try to fit skills under your bash buff, right? Bash buff, all very important. Bash, show bash, and then cycle through skill priority. That is your that is your game plan, right? Bash, show bash, and then cycle through your skill priority, which is Guardian Thunderbolt, Leap Attack, Show Charge, Show Shock, until your bash buff runs out. Then stop cycling, right? Stop cycling. Wait for Bash to come back and then continue cycling. All right? Does that make sense? If it makes sense, good. You're on your way to becoming a great blue gel player. Also, try red gel. It's fun. Trust. <laughs> trust. Don't worry about it. Trust, trust, trust. Also, stop using Battlefield Shield on the fucking whatever pattern it's called. 
uh, donuts. Shit sucks. Don't use it. <laughs> Not ideal. All right, let's see some G2 action. Mm, Scrapper has no sense. Scrapper has energy. It's like 3% damage or some shit. I don't remember. I don't know what it is. 5% damage? I don't remember. It's not good, but it has energy. After he does the animation, I don't know what that is. Scrapper sucks? I agree. Synergy leeches, SMH. Not like I play a Synergy leech in Final Fantasy. Don't worry about it. I can taunt for you. Time taunt. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't time taunt. Your blue gel, spam that shit off cooldown. Don't time taunt. It's not worth it. Hi, uh, you're, listen, here's the thing, right? If you taunt, if you, if you taunt time, no, you can't taunt time. If you time taunt, you're gonna be like, I, I don't know what you guys are planning, but you guys are probably gonna be like holding to on to taunt for like 10, 20 seconds or some shit. That 20, 10, 20 seconds is that 10, 20, it's like an additional 10, 20 seconds uh, of the sharpshooter not getting that like 3% or 4% damage buff. And at this point, I would much rather the the scrapper have the whatever it is, like what is it now, like five, six, seven, eight percent damage buff uh, on the taunt and the sharpshooter getting the damage up from the taunt then just a scrapper benefiting because they burst a little more. So just taunt off cooldown. Don't fuck it. And don't, 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 don't time. It's not worth it. Okay, you guys do. Oh, shit. Positions, good, good, good. This is fine. Why is, what the fuck? Oh, you have all, everyone's health bars on. That's weird. Okay, this is good. Continue. Oh, you guys, well, I don't know what you guys are doing. Someone AFK. Let me see some G2 gameplay. There we go. Okay, this is good. Did you miss a taunt? You did. <laughs> God. Oh, that's so sad. You can't stand there, by the way. The last hit extends behind her. Be careful. This is good. Nice Ganella. I would just ulti here. Good ulti. Are you tanking? Oh, maybe you're not tanking. I don't know. That was good. Jump. Good tank. Use your leap attack. Nice. Good taunt. Bash in the show bash. Show bash. Oh, Sag. Nice. Good. Everything else, I mean, it looks like you're doing good. Bash. Yeah, just use your show charge. I think, I think you're still in the mindset that show charge is your movement skill. Nice counter, by the way. Uh, it's not anymore. It's your DPS skill. So use your show charge. Oh, that guy's gonna be shotgun. What the hell? They're insane. Nice, good DUF. That is, I don't know if I have bleed on DUF, but um, that's a tech that no one really knows about. When one Vikas is about to go in the air for ring, uh, for not ring, for um, for Deska, what you can do is you can use whatever bleed skill you have right at the end. Like for Gunlancer, I put bleed on dash over fire, so I will use my dash over fire like counter skill, right? I would just burn my counter skill, just apply bleed, and it was just take damage over time. That's good. I like that. That was good. That's good. Good position. This is good. Oh, you guys got the lead. A little slow on battlefield, but that's okay. By the way, battlefield should not be your first, um, your first option. When I saw that guy get stunned, my first response was Nella. Nella is a lot stronger than Battlefield in a lot of ways because it's fast, it gives DR, it gives like shit time DR, you don't take damage, you know? It's just a good skill, it's a good skill. So prioritize Nella, don't, I know Battlefield is like the new skill or some shit and you know, it looks cool, it's, it's fancy, but remember Nella, Nella is your number one priority. Nella is, mm, bis. Yeah, this is fine, I'm using you guys restarted. Good, good, good. Nice, good taunt. Oh, you missed. Never mind. I take it back. That's fine. This is good. You can nail it here, by the way. Oh, mama mia! I did not just uh, see that. You can nail. You can nail him. Tank this, by the way. Oops. Oh, that's sad. There goes like 10, 20 mil damage. That's okay. Nice, bash, show bash, show charge. Ah, okay, all good. Stay, yep. Oh, they're spinning it, that's not good. That's okay, you still got it though, all good. Bash, show bash, nice, good. Guardian Thunderbolt. 
Remember, Garden Sunbow first. Leap attack is cringe. Nice, good. Adapt, adapt, just swap it around. You have a lot more. By the way, look. Uh, when you see this, look, look on the mini map, right? This guy is suff this guy is getting suffocated. This guy is getting suffocated in this corner between that guy and you, right? If you see this, adapt, just move up a little bit, right? Because one, look, look where one is. One is, uh, they got so much fucking space, right? Give this guy with electricity a little more space. So just something to keep in mind, right? Whenever you uh, have that, have the adaptation mindset. Be ready to adapt. No, right, they're they're cracked. Oh, it's it's noisy. Noise is cracked, anyways. Oh no! Oh no! You oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, this oh, you don't even have show charge. Why don't you have show, what happened to show charge? That's unfortunate. I I'm get I'm gonna give you benefit of the doubt and just say that you didn't see the start of this pattern, but um, what was your first response to this? Dodge out of the way, okay. Your first response should be to go into combat. I would be mashing Z at this point. Because getting into combat readiness means getting into turtle stance means you just have perma super armor, which means first of all you don't take damage. Second of all, you just you can just tank these hits. How do they get grabbed? Did they get hit stunned? Oh, they were doing their fucking they were doing skills or some shit. Yeah. By the way, battlefield here does nothing. It's kinda stu it's kinda bad. Yeah, about now you don't have shields, so that's the main problem. This is fine. Garden Thunderbolt. Nice. Good. Nice. Good taunt. Uh, you can get out of your turtle stance, by the way. Uh, if you get hit, the reason why you want to get out of your turtle stance is because um, if you get hit by a yellow ring and you get spawn a puddle under you, you have enough time after you get unstunned to go into turtle stance and tank the hit, even if you don't want to jump out. So, uh, just getting out of turtle stance makes it much easier to dodge those yellow rings. So, uh, what, were you just showing off or something? What, what was this? What, what, why'd you just stand there? Holy. I know you're playing Gunlancer, but listen. We still don't want to get hit. Getting hit is still bad, right? Getting hit is still bad, so be mindful. Nice, good. Suck. This can call gun answers, by the way. Be careful on that. This can absolutely drain your shields. If you get hit by like more than two or three of those bulbs, you're you, you're gonna see your shield melt. So be be mindful. That pattern still hurts. Good, good stagger timing. That was pretty good. That was good. You got guard Thunderbolt in your whatever it's called bash window. I like it. That was nice. Yeah, purple rings. Good. You can greed, by the way. You can just go into combat readiness and greed. Because everyone else has to drop their puddles anyways. So, Oh, you misguarded it. That's so sad. That's okay. I don't need to see this part. You guys do this. Yeah, this is fine. Good. I just... I get, I get, walk like two more steps. Now, look. Now, look. look, look. Now, there's a shit fight. Look, look at this. Walk, walk like two more steps. Go like over here, right? Somewhere in like the, the very edge of it. Now you're gonna leave a, a zone here that you can't walk as opposed to like a half zone here or here that you can't walk, right? Be a little more mindful of where you're dumping the poop. Like you, you can just walk. Even if the poop is not perfectly facing this way, it's fine. Even so like, if it's there, if it's there and the poop is facing like this way, I will be more content because first of all, it's a very, very minor thing by the way, but this is just how you uh, uh, optimize it more. Um, try to leave it in like a more nook and cranny place rather than, you know, kind of smack dab out in the middle. Because what if Vikas backs up into here? Now you guys have to dodge this this shit and everything's gonna be pain as opposed to Apollo being there and you guys can still use this whole area, right? So uh, just keep in mind. Yeah, look, look, look how big of an area that's gonna take up. Look at that, that whole area is just off limits now. So if Vikas gets somehow over there, it's it's just fucked. So are you tanking? You're tanking. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I'll just see this. He can tank. Good job. There's not much I need to see about um, G2. I feel like it's kind of it's quite simple. It's not too difficult. By the way, you can just back hop. You can back hop through this. Nella is fine, but. Um, a more common gun attack because gun answers back hop is so long 
if you whenever you see Pikachu about to hit, just back hop. I mean, you have so much shields, you're not gonna take damage anyways, and it lets you move. Cause now look, now look, now you're electrocuted for like however long this is, way too long, like four or five seconds. If Vicus does like Xyla or something, uh, good luck. <laughs> so but you didn't get hit by the last one though, so it's fine. But yeah, just just back hop, immunity it. It will uh, it will make your life so much better. Oh, you guys got your spots. I'm confused. You can go. You could go left a little bit. Oh, whoever that sharpshooter is. Nice, good shield charge back. That was good. That was one of the things I was gonna say that you could do was shield charge back. And the, but last time your shield charge wasn't on cooldown, so this was good. This is good. It's fine. I mean, your skills are mostly off cooldown, which is good. Again, you can always optimize your uptime, but. Back hop, nice, perfect. That was a great back hop. I enjoyed that. Goodbye. What was that? Sharpshooter. Goodbye, sharpshooter. Nice, good GT leap attack. You all of a sudden you just started playing blue gun lancer. What the hell? What happened? Except for shield charge, you still hate shield charge, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, I would save. I will wait. I will use like a sub DPS skill or something first. I would just wait because now look how much. First of all, your second part is purple right now on first um, first ring around the rosy or whatever carousel. Uh, that's not ideal. Ideally, you want the stagger bar to be like here or here in case your DPS pushes. Because uh, you can probably do like that much stagger. Let me see if I can draw this out. You can probably do like like th this much stagger between carousels. So you want that stagger bar to be like, I think I want to say like there, right? Because then if you do that much stagger at this point, you can stagger, right? I think... The bare minimum that you, the, the sorry, the maximum that you can do, uh, for for carousel or for uh, uh yeah, for carousel, um, for maze or waffles or whatever people want to call it, the maximum amount of stagger you can have before Vicus spawns the first wave of AOE explosions. If you want to stagger before Vicus spawns the first wave of AOE explosions, like here, I think maybe a little more, like there, if everyone greets like that much. Yeah, I think like that much, right? So you want to knock that shit down a lot more. And Bash is one of your biggest, um, Bash is one of your biggest stagger skills. And Vicus doesn't become vulnerable to stagger until she stands all the way up. So let's back up a little bit and we'll we'll watch this back uh, real quick. So look, Vicus gets up, right? Once her hands, so you see how she gets up and then she starts to move, right? She gets up here, right? She's fully up and then she starts to move. Once Vicus starts to move that's when you can start doing stagger that's when you can start doing stagger so try to keep bash until at least that window nice good guardian thunderbolt good back hop you still took it that's okay nice nice show charge in bash show bash good this is good get ready with a bash show bash oh with the ulting there's nothing to ulti bash show bash oh you just went away I did not just see that. No, <laughs> bow. I did not just see you walk back into a worm, bow. What am I looking at? Oh my god. Oh, I did not just see that. I did not just see that. I did not. I'm gonna pretend like it didn't happen. I'm gonna skip for a few frames, and you're gonna be out of that worm, and life is gonna be good. Nope, you're dead. <laughs> Bowsers, 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 Bowsers. I did not just see that. <laughs> it hurts. Oh my God. I, I, w w did you like not see the puddle? W like, w what happened? Was it just like, did you like fall asleep for a moment? Uh, I, I, you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. Uh, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Oh my god, oh my, I, oh my, that's gonna give me fucking PTSD for the rest of my night. Oh my god, that's gonna give me nightmares. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sleeping tonight, and all that fucking, that guy's dead. I'm gonna be sleeping tonight, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have a dream. How the fuck did he not get hit? That structure is insane. I'm gonna be dreaming of, uh, of the time when Bao walked back into the worm and got swallowed. Oh, not ideal. Okay, I'm assuming you guys failed this. No, you guys did it. Wow, Giga Chads. Uh, there's no more gun that's a good play, so I'm gonna skip the rest of this until you guys reset or clear. Did you guys clear this? No, you guys did not clear this. Uh, oh, alright, let's see. 
Next poll. Oh, we're almost halfway through, and it's only been an hour and ten minutes. That is an improvement from my last recording. Last time I recorded for like what, like three hours or some shit. That was rough. You have taunt. Nice. Good. Bash. Show bash. Nice. Guarded thunderbolt. Nice. Leap attack. Let's go. Look at that. That was some bisque on the gameplay. And the oh, whoo. And the uh, and the DUF and the soak, bro. This is some pro gun lancer gameplay right here. This is bis. Uh oh, that was good. That's not bad. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't like the way that you drifted left. Right when I see the ring, I'm drifting this way. When I see that ring, I'm going this way. And depends on if I have the ring or not. I can either peel off this way or I can continue going this way. Right. I don't like how you went like that way to begin with, but. It works. So you use surcharge, which is very smart, and it works. So I can't judge. If it works, it works. Yeah, you use surcharge, you got out. That was fine. That was good. This is a. Actually, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say because I saw someone go up and left. So I was going to be like, oh, uh, may maybe this corner isn't the best because they might get hit up there. But they went away. So it's all good. You guys were agree that. That was fine. Counter. Wow, you guys, none of y'all have a counter button. Holy shit. Bash, yo, bash. Guardian's Thunderbolt. Nice. Leap attack. Perfect. Oh, but uh, she flew away. That's unfortunate, though. You have Nella here, by the way. If you Nella here, another line is tech tip. If you Nella here, Nella will last like an ulti, right? Nella will last throughout the entire uh, duration of Deska. And first of all, your teammate will take, will take less damage. And second of all, um, it might protect them. It might save them. So it's like a free Gossen. It's like a raid-wide Gossen. Actually, I don't know if you have effectiveness tripod. So you might it might just be a raid-wide DR. So or party-wide DR. Regardless, it's good. Use Nella when you see Deska. This is a good good time to Nella. Let's keep going. Nice, good. That was a great Nella. Perfect. Give him some space. Perfect. I like that. Ambush, good, walk away. That guy was not paying attention. That's okay. Nice, good soak. Okay, get rid of your burst window. Bash, show bash, not leap attack. That's okay. Show bash. Oh, Sedge. By the way, you can stand. Show bash, you can just stand at like the corner of her. Uh, not even corner, like to the side of her. Even if you show bash heater. Um, Show bash doesn't actually get you in all the way, so you won't be clipped by all the feathers. You might get clipped by like a one or two, but you won't die. So if you're scared about show bashing, just do it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So by the feather pattern, by the way, I'm not talking about this pattern. Like the feather pattern. That was good. This is good. Be careful on this pattern. This pattern hurts. Nice. Good taunt. Perfect. That's good. Yep. Go up. Perfect, good. That was nice. Bash, show bash. Oh, back hop. Nice, good show charge. I like that. That was good. That was a good response. Guardian Thunderbolt first. Remember your skill priorities. Um, that was good. Oh, don't just stand there. Don't know that either. This pattern is not. <laughs> okay. 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 First of all, don't just stand there. You know you have one, two, three skills ready to be used. And second of all, don't nullify that pattern. Who's no one's dying. She's kicking air right now, right? You're just wasting at least like two seconds of Nella. So Bash, show bash, counter, nice. Go hit him with the Guardian Thunderbolt. Nice. Show charge. Leap attack. Nice. Good. See, like look at it. you didn't even take any fucking damage from that Zaya. It's it does not it does not hurt Gunlancers. That pattern is super. Look, look, you show bash in there. Look, and how many feathers you get hit by? One. So that pattern, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just get in there. Get in there and start greeting. Nice, good. Get ready with bash, show bash. Nice, good. Okay, we're delaying. That's fine. Leap attack is okay. I'll probably will show charge in there because leap attack is slightly higher on the priority skill than uh, show charge. So nice, good stagger. A little slow, but he she did have a lot of counters, so makes sense. All good. Leap attack, you can leap attack in the middle here. Nice, good, perfect. Okay, just free for I don't need to see this. You guys do it. 
Yeah. This is good. Got this other ball. Nice. Nice. Great. Sh that was a great. That was a great shield charge. Bash. Shield bash. I would leap attack here. Yeah, you're free. Yeah, no one. There's no rings around you. Perfect. Good bash. By the way, you, I, I don't know if you're waiting for both of these things to come off of cooldown or something. As soon as you see... Oh, come on. This, this sucks. Oh, can I pause it? Pause. 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 As soon as you see your bash come off cooldown, like here, right? About to come off cooldown, use it right away. Because after... If you take into account the time that it takes for you to use this bash animation, by the time you finish, shield bash is also gonna be up. When you add, and so you, what you can do is you can just mash, you can just mash bash, mash bash. That sounds weird. I don't know if I like that. You can mash bash, right? As soon as you finish bash, shield bash is gonna come out, cool down. Mash, shield bash, right? After, as soon as you finish shield bash, shield charge is gonna cool down. Garden Thunderbolt is gonna come off cool down, right? So, so, Instead of waiting for things to be off cooldown, try to anticipate when things are going to be off cooldown. So, but yeah, everything else looks good. Bad, nice, good counter. Hit him with a nice taunt. Bash, bash, nice, good. Guardian Thunderbolt, leap attack. Perfect, great combo. Oh, you even want to try to go for a show charge too. That was Biss. Bash, show bash. Back hop, all good. This is good. Bash. Shield bash towards the middle. Nice. Hit him with the guard. Nice. Perfect. I like that. That was good. That was good greeting. I like that. That was nice. No Nella, which is fine. Good. Oh, Pikachu. Get out. You should be okay here, right? Yeah, you're good. That was good. Good place. Or good enough place. Last one's in, but that's okay. Oh, someone died. How did they die? You guys restart? Okay. The gate deal looks fine. Um, only thing I can think of is maybe even more uptime and try to use Nella at only necessary places, like maybe Pikachu, Descaludas, you know, swipes, maybe. But taunt is good. Just I haven't really been paying attention to taunt timings, but the usual rule is just use off CD. Like taunt here. Yeah, you want that synergy. Oh, don't get shotgunned. See, look, you only get hit by one feather. It's been chilling. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Your, your poor gunslinger, bro. Holy. To be fair, they should have been here, right? They should have been there. But instead, they were just they just camped out there. Um, but also, you were a little far away from the boss, right? Your whole goal is to hug this. You see that little arrow there? This? Your whole goal when you see the leg raise is just to hug that arrow, right? You want your character to be on that arrow. If your character is on that arrow, you know that no rings are getting past you, right? So instead of trying to anticipate, just, yeah. I, I do like the anticipation. You are anticipating that they go middle, and they didn't, so not really your fault, but also just keep in mind, um, I my thing is broken. Okay, that's good. Also, just try to keep in mind, uh, 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 try to be a little closer. Because right now, there's still, like, you know, there's still, like, a little bit of distance between you two. You guys are just, like, awkward friends right now. I need you guys to, to be buddy buddies. You all need to be, like, <laughs> holding hands, so. This is fine. Nice. Taunt, bash, show bash. This auto attack is not unnecessary, by the way. You don't, you don't have to... Wait, did you have it? Yeah, you don't, you don't have to auto attack here. Just go straight into bash. Bash, show bash. Iron Stunner Ball, leap attack. You can leap attack here. You're gonna answer. You don't really, it doesn't really matter. So, bash, show bash, leap attack. Nice, good, show charge. DUF, which is fine. I like, I like the, I like your awareness. You were aware enough um, to realize that you just countered. So, DUF. Uh, will be fine for a while. You won't need to use it for a while, and you used it for damage. That was good. I enjoyed it. I like that. That was nice. No, no, don't be sorry. Don't be. Don't, 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 don't apologize. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, if they die, that's their fault. That's a DPS's fault, not your fault. Mhm. Mm nice. Good hug. Oh, what the fuck were they doing? 
<laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck was the guy that just got kicked like 50 times? This is good. That's fine. This is good. You can dodge, by the way. Okay, all good. Bash, yo, bash. You're walking an unnecessary uh, amount of lane. Like, once again, I think one of your main problems is that you're just not efficient enough with your movement. Like, look, you walked all the way behind there. You're not Deathblade. <laughs> oh, you just take the shortest path, right? Look, look how much closer from here to there is. Just go there. You don't need to loop around and, and go behind her. You know what I mean? Like, look. Yeah, you went all the way around behind and then stopped, right? No need. No need for that. Nice. Good counter. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Nice. Good. Uh, I would start saving your leap attack now. Yeah, because look, your bash wore off, so. This is good. Careful. This hurts. This hurts a lot. Oh, you had you had some shields from a bard. Actually, that's fine. Stay below. Nice, good soaks. I like that. That was good. That was good awareness. Very nice soaks. Nice, good soak on this too. Okay, taunts up. Nice, great taunts. Since you have taunt shields, you can just stay if you want to, which is what you did. That was perfect. You're playing very well here. You're playing very well. Yeah, you're playing pretty well for for blue gel g2 that's it's pretty nice oh gal there oh that pattern you don't really need to nail it for that pattern in particular does not spawn puddles puddles is the thing like if you get hit by the slam most likely you're not gonna lie but if you get hit by the slam into puddles that's when you want to die so that's why you want to um you don't you don't you don't necessarily need to uh nail it this pattern but I would nail the pattern where she kicks and like this cone of circle AOE spawn. You know what I'm talking about? Like the gradient of, of circle AOE spawn in front of her. And well, and if she jumps up, she like comes back down, does like the AOE around her and then spawns puddles under, under everyone's feet. You know which pattern I'm talking about? Yeah, that one I would, the kick, the front kick. Uh, that one I would nail for, but this one I would not. Nice, good stagger. This is good. This is good. Dude, my oh my god, that was a oh mama mia, that was a that was a that was a strong Garden of Thunderbolt. That was nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna assume you guys, you guys know how to do this mech. I don't need to watch you guys do this mech. Yeah. All right. It's good. Everything here is good. Soak. Nice. Great soak. Hey, you don't need a wiggle. You don't. You don't really need a wiggle there. Just you can just stand in one place, perfect fine. But hey, you know, I you did your job. I can't complain. That was a little far, but that's okay. Shield charge. That's the one thing with shield charge is it doesn't have great radius. So it actually would have been much better for you to just walk here, and then back hop here. It, it's just much easier, and you don't waste a DPS skill, right? So next time, just just because you look how much shield you have. You can tank this like whole thing if you wanted to. So just. Just walk over here, right? Take a few steps, walk over it, and just back hop into here if you really need to. Uh, otherwise, all good. Oh god, what did I do? Play it. <laughs> yeah, people were people also looking like, what the fuck? Nice, him with the DUF. Ah, all good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they'll be fine. <sighs> no alt sedge. Ooh, ooh, that was some like that was some like MacGyver shit. What the hell? That was like some Matrix. You just you just fucking like did the the bowl of dodge between those onion rings. That was nice. I like that. And the tank, sheesh, looking good. This one sucks. You don't have extra shields. I would be careful. Oh, you do have extra shields. Never mind. You're been chilling. Before ring. Okay, go bottom, perfect, good spacing, good good, uh, good spatial awareness. Good. For taunt, oh, you don't have taunt yet. Show bash, bash. Stagger boss strats, but still works. Nice. Good, this is good. Bash. 
Nice backspace and the shield. That works. Uh, again, I would just back. I would just go into turtle mode and then backspace to immunity it. But that also works. No, 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 no. Just drop the poo. Drop the poo. Drop the poo. Drop the poo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In that situation, do not worry about tanking. Let let someone know. Let your paladin tank or let someone let the support shield them. Do something. All right. In that case, do not try to tank this. Dropping a a bath poop is way more likely to wipe than an, an untanked uh, an, an untanked grab, right? So just tell your bard, tell your like bard or some shit that you know you can't tank, and just let the DPS figure it out. Drop off the poop first. A poop, a bad poop can wipe your raid super easily. So like, look at this poop. Look at this poop. You end up having the place there. That's that's that a whole section of the map has just been cut off. That's. Yeah, look at that. That's not ideal. Surely we staggered this shit. Surely we staggered this shit. Or not staggering this shit. Don't try to stagger it. Also, you just bashed you already. She didn't take any stagger from that. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, just play the overlay. You can go. You can just go there. Try to go there next time if you can. I mean, Lost Ark is just a clicking game, right? So if you see, if you know the patterns there, say just click there. Because this is a perfect spot because you're one shield bash away from hitting the boss. Whenever this expo ground explodes, you can just shield bash and you're in the boss's face. So that would be ideal. No bash, bash, good tank. Oh, I guess it didn't register, unfortunately. Bash, shield bash, DUF, nice, good. Push for stagger. Oh, that's not good. Oh shit. They'll be fine, right? Yeah, they'll be fine. Just gonna phase. I don't need to see this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, what the hell happened to you? Oh, not good. Oh, oh my. Okay. That, um. Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna comment on it. Just, uh, oh, uh, uh, Waffle just takes practice, I guess. Jesus Christ, that was good. See, that is a tech I'm talking about. Instead of having the show charge, just walk over here and backstep. That was perfect. I like that. That was nice. Uh, can I just do this? Oh, I can. That's perfect. That's good. Guard leap attack, perfect. Watch Zaya, perfect. Bash, show bash. Bash, show bash. Into garden to sun the vault. Bash, nice. Show bash. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate, no tank. Nice, good. Take this. Oh, careful. Oh, you were too far away. Hi, uh, the poor DPS. Oh, where'd my pen go? Oh, well, whatever. I don't need it. Yeah, what happened here? Where was it? Was it this pattern? It was after this pattern, wasn't it? Yeah, your poor DPS. I think this was a case of when they went to the middle. Yeah. I think they realized... They realized it was on them and they went to the middle and it was rough. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. They were close and they were at the middle, so... That's not your fault. That's perfectly fine. I mean, it's not fine for them. They're dead, but... Yeah. You guys clear this, right? Do I need to watch more of this? Oh, it's back up. You're the tank. Oh, Sedge. It's good. It's fine. Do not risk this. Nice. Ganella. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
That's agreed. Get out! Stop! Get out of your turtle! Get the... Get, stop! Stop! Oh, bow, bow. What am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do with you? Oh, mama mia. This is the second bad poop you've left. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Get out of your turtle stands, dude. Oh. Uh, whatever. It happens. Just, uh, just remember, alright? Just remember. Poop is always more important. Like, if Gun Lancer loses a burst window, whatever. It's a Gun Lancer, right? Your damage doesn't even contribute to that much. I, it does contribute to quite a bit, but getting a bad poop slaughters your team's DPS way more than if you just don't burst for like one round. So, place that one. Yeah. Please, 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 please place those poops in a better spot. Uh, you guys fine? Did you guys clear this? You did. Nice. Good job. Who is MVP? I want to see. Was it Sharpshooter? Oh, whatever. I don't care enough. Alright. G3. Okay. Um, Overall for G2. Uh, I should give some final notes here. Uh, your G2 was pretty nice. It was pretty clean. It was solid. It was not bad. Um... Tanking, I would try to work on. Uh, I would try to work on identifying whoever is getting targeted by the tank, by the uh, frisbees for the whatever it's called, the um, the counter or the grab quicker. So you will, so you can know uh, essentially where to go the tank. Otherwise, uh, be more mindful of your count of your cooldowns because sometimes I did see that some of your cooldowns was off, off CD for quite a bit before you use them. So another thing, um, also just be generally be, be a more aware of your nella timings right sometimes your nulling patterns like the, the 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 front kick where you're like where she like does like the front sideways kick where it just launches people away like on those patterns sometimes i'm seeing you know those uh no need no need to know those so if you can get all those things um kind of worked out i think your g2 is fine your g2 looks pretty solid I think G. Oh fuck my pen. I think G three is the pad the, the gate that you had the most struggle with from what I've seen. So we'll see. Let's see. <sighs> oh my god, I'm dying. Holy. Uh, your build looks fine. Let me see. How long did you guys AFK for? Okay. Counter, good, 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 good. Dives, Nella, good Nella. That was a great Nella. Uh, try to keep your, yeah, your synergies on. That's good. Show shock. It's not really necessary. You're going to Keep walking. Good, perfect. That was nice. That was good. Very good technique. Hit him with the bash. Nice. I would nail this pattern, by the way. That was that was a very dangerous pattern for multiple reasons, right? One, um, there was about to be whales coming through because you guys just dropped puddles, and two, because she was swiping and there was nowhere to go behind her, right? And swipes is one of the most dangerous patterns in essentially this game. Swipe can take you from a hundred zero in like two seconds, maybe even less. So when I when I when you see those when you see those swipes about to happen, I would go into defensive stance and I would just pop Nella right away. That, I, that's that's the first thing on my mind because you can't get through and that's just gonna hurt. So that's yeah, especially with those callouts. That is what I would. That's okay. Good callouts by your DPS. Good Nella. That was good. He's phasing good. Uh, taunt here. It's price energy. Nice. Good. Swiftness, good. You know you had to do this back, by the way. She's fine. She's... Oh, she's... She's crisis. Nella, good. Very good, Nella. Good DR, good DR, good DR reactions on those dives. I'm dying. What the fuck? Did I eat something? What the fuck? In, good. Uh, show bash or something. Oh good, not that it matters, but nice, good decision there to just go out. Oh, I think it's 
Be careful here though, cause um, be careful, cause there's gonna be whales coming. Nice, good. Watch for slams. Good. Two. Three. Good. Go in. Nice, good. Everything seems fine. Nothing else really going on. Gate three is the most boring gate for Gun Lancer because you know nothing happens. But maybe I'll just I'm gonna speed through this because most of this is just mechs and stuff. Like you know what to do here. There's nothing. Gate one and gate two you can optimize a lot. Gate three there's not much you can do. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You did good there. That's good. Good typing test. Good job. Foster resorption, good. Very good. It's fine, good. Oh, I'm so tired. I just came back from lecture. Did I mention this before? I came back from a lecture and I'm fucking exhausted. So sorry for the sorry for the yawning. By the way, this is an opportunity where you should, you should use Battlefield Shield. Because Battlefield Shield grants your team a uh, push immunity. And especially when you see a pattern like this about to happen, like a fake counter, where it's a real counter, but you don't want to counter it. So especially after you, when you see a pattern like counter about to happen, Battlefield Shield. Just no questions asked, double press X or double press thumb button or whatever. Battlefield Shield, get into Battlefield Shield here. Yeah. This is fine. Wait, is that is that trouble? What is trouble playing Bard? No. Oh, is he? Is he? No. Is he gunslinger? Sharpshooter? Oh, I know. It's whatever. This is good. Everything here is good. Out. Nice. Good back hop. I like it. Your back hops have improved. Uh, use a more G1. But uh, otherwise, yeah, your 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 space bars have been looking pretty good. Cause explosion, just get out, just get out. No need to, no need to, no need to nail it. Actually, nail it there. I would not. I it's not a terrible play, but yeah, I would have gone out a little more just to be safe. That was good. Also, whenever she's in grab, don't panic. I see you panic wiggling a lot, and this panic wiggle. Look, look, look what you did. You go like. Yeah, see, look, you do like the little little wiggle. You go like left down, up right. You know, you do like the little wiggle. Don't panic wiggle. The reason is if you panic wiggle, there's a higher chance that you might accidentally shift into her grab hitbox and get grabbed, right? So what usually what I usually do when when she's about to grab is I go into combat readiness, I go into defense stance, and I stand essentially just where you are right now, right? I stand where you are right now, and I keep. You guys can see. You can see, yeah. You can see my mouse, right? I stand out where you are, and I point my mouse away from her. This way, if if I see a DPS get grabbed, I just press space and I'm in her face. I'm in grab range. She's gonna grab me, right? That's 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 typically what you want to do, and that's basically you know, the 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 easier way to go about it. So keep that in mind. Don't panic. We go when you see her grab, just stand still. Don't just don't don't move. Don't touch. No touchies. Right? Click where her tether is and just no touchies. This is good. Everything's good. This is good. Ah, oh, yeah. You don't need to be in turtle stance. What is this turtle stance? Ah, <sighs> turtle stance enjoyer. It's okay. I know I'm giving you a lot of shit for being turtle stance, but playing, knowing when to play in and play out of turtle stance is very important for a gun lancer. Okay, this is fine. Good. Bash, yo, bash, good, surge cannon, good, oh, no, 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 you gotta know your rotation, the rotation is usually bash, yo, bash, surge cannon, and then you can do, I think you can do like, uh, show shock, like one or two, and you'll be fine, you don't, do you have those, a shockingly high amount of stagger, yeah, it's, uh, it's not worth it, yeah, don't, don't DUF there, not, no, But now you know. Now you know the rotation. This is fine. This is good. I would take a hit here. You can, by the way, you can take one of these hits. The especially the outer ring hit. This hit. Sorry, not th yeah. This hit. This outer ring hit. This one there gives you a great, like a really good amount of gauge. So I would just take that. 
I would just tank that and uh, and grab get your meter there. This is fine. Would you use Nella on? I would have used Nella on this pattern. This is a good Nella pattern because it, it hurts. This is also a great Nella pattern. Left. Okay, that's fine. A little slow in the reaction, but that's okay. Stop. Stop tanking. <laughs> Stop. I know you can because it's gun lancer, but if you tank everything, you're not gonna learn, right? Try to dodge more stuff. That's how you're gonna learn the patterns. That's how you're gonna, you know, become a better player. Cause this shit you can't tank in like the final berserk, whatever it's called. Final enrage. So counter. Nice, good. Slam, good. You probably you guys did this right. I don't even look. It's good, 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 good. Nice, good counter. Ah, uh, yeah, Medusa. I don't even look at this. You guys got this. Saw. Uh, Nella's a little weird. I would not have Nella there because oh my god, how is he not dead? Yeah, I would not have Nella there because um, now you don't have Nella for another 15 seconds and sh if she does a shit pattern Yo, it just kind of fucked Nice, good Oh, someone touched your tentacle, whatever You don't even get gauge here, by the way you, Once you do your ulti, your job is done So That's a lot of gauge yeah, I was gonna say you're not. That's that's way too much gauge. I would I would have liked like one. It's easier to get gauge than lose gauge because you can't lose gauge, right? So just get under and get more gauge later. Yeah, and you got hit by the whale sting. How'd you get hit by the whale sting? Oh my god! Don't listen. Don't don't try to show off. Don't be fancy. Just walk out. Just walk out. Walk out. Walk out. Walk out. Just don't don't be fancy. Being fancy is how you die. Being fancy is how you wipe the raid. Right? Don't be fancy. Just walk out. Just walk out. Oh, you're gonna get charmed. At this point, it might even be, be better for you to just get charmed. This is fine. Good. This is good. Okay, now, okay. You, you need to figure out the balance between too far out and far out because look there's a big there was a big indicator OE on the ground that tells you like how far she's gonna go right you don't need that look how far you went look okay look, hold, on, hold on look at the AOE circle is here right AOE circle is here you are here you kept going look at this that's like look from center circle, that's like that's like one you went an additional radius away just stay here stay here stay on the edge get ready to go in right there's no need to go this far Right, don't no, no need for these extravagant movements, right? Either you gotta strike the right balance between far and too too far and not far enough, right? Just right in between, just far enough, is is where you need to go. Is good. That why what I don't know what the thought process of that was. Okay, who the fuck was that? Oh my, what the what happened? Okay, that you, whatever. I'm not even gonna question it. Oh, you're gonna be charmed. Oh, never mind. You just didn't grab. Okay, that's fine. Did you guys clear? This is still very clearable. No tank. That's okay. Oh, someone got grabbed. Oh, see? Look, the panic walk. The panic walk. It's very hard to position like this. Look, 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 right here, right? You went out, you panicked, you went out, and then you went back in. You look, you almost went behind her. You came back to the front. You started wiggling. Simplify, simplify, right? You see grab. Your first instinct should be to go here, turn into combat, turn into uh, turn on your turtle stance, right? Go here, turn on your turtle stance, and point your cursor out, get her to back hop. If you see someone get grabbed, back hop into her, right? Instead of this panic walk, where, see, look, now it's just, your hitbox is not where it should be. It's shifting all over the place, and the DPS is going to get grabbed, so. 
just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. This is. Do you guys clear this pole? It's still doable. Oh shit, that's unfortunate. Nice surge cannon. Nice, they slept you. Pot up, good. I think it looks fine, it looks good. Watch saw good. You guys probably did this nice good loop around. By the way, your synergy has not been on for a long time. Um, just keep in mind, try to apply your synergy every once in a while. Whether it's show bash, bash, whatever, just try to get your synergy on. If you see someone charm, by the way, dash up or fire is your friend. Oh, you were waiting for Rhapsody. That was actually very smart. But then you missed the dash right up fire, which is fine. Yeah, are you gonna, oh, you're gonna, yeah, when you, by the way, you have show charge. Show charge is one of the most powerful abilities for this. If you see cover this explosion around you, show, just show charge away, show charge down. You have so much time. Just show charge down. You won't get hit by the lines. I promise you will not get hit by the lines and you won't like, see, so you won't clip this poor bard with your explosion, right? So just, just show charge down. Okay, spinning. Nice berserk. Okay, this is your time to shine. Let's see. Down. Go. Go. You're not a DPS. You're not a support. This, you need to greet here, right? This, this is your playground. You need to greet here. This is, they they got this far for you. You need to greet here, right? Don't don't stand there. Don't, look look at your show gauge. Look, you have no you have no lust. You have no lust here. Go here. Start staggering. I'm gonna see if I. I don't even think I have a um oh christ do i even have a one of my helbia uh, vods i don't think i do but uh, actually let me see can i find that helbia uh i think that's it right if i just look up helbia i'll find it the daemon whore no it's you for no kappa slayer is there a Gunlancer POV? What about like Molly Luna? Oh. Let me see if I can find one of my. Um... Really? Molly Luna Lost Ark. There we go. Um. Sorry, Ollie. I'm stealing your content. Where is our Helvia Deathless run? There it is. Let me see if I can find the uh, last part. Oh, Nina, Nina, Nina. Nina, Nina, whatever. Okay, let me see if I can find this. What number am I? Let me see, I'm three, right? See, you can see my immediate reaction when they said bottom was not to stay at sack with DPS. This is this is the gunlancer job, right? It's time to stagger. So gunlancers need to greed every shred of stagger they can. And this is a free frontal attack opportunity. You get free frontal attacks here, which means you absolutely need to greed this, right? Especially because, uh, uh, look, we have low shield gauge. It's the first round, right? We have low, sorry, not shield gauge. We have low loss gauge. Greed this. Look, you go ahead, shield bash, bash, dash, upper fire. You can do all this shield charge and stuff. And you go behind. L listen, the amount the pool the pools tick you for a lot of lust look i did not even like go back and follow the pools i just i kept just keep an eye on what i was doing right i just kept staggering i kept staggering and when the pool came i looped around with the pool and that was enough to reduce all of my lust gauge down to zero and i just continued i continued to stagger right there's no need because my lust is at zero there's zero need for me to follow that puddle i i my lust is empty like I have a shred, I have like a, a tiny sliver of lust. There's no point. There's no point in me following the Palo for more than like, you know, two ticks at most, right? So uh, instead of waiting for the Palo to come, especially since you have such low uh, lust gauge, 
it, it's not worth it's not it's not worth sacrificing that much stagger because you you know you know how much a show bash bash into a surge cannon can do you have more than enough time and space and you know lust gauge to pull off a show bash bash into surge cannon here so uh, don't stack don't stack with it you're not a dps you're not a support do not stack with the dps here go see look look by this time you took like two ticks and look your lust is gone so you've wasted all this uptime on basically a standstill target that you could have been staggering right so next time just keep that in mind and try to stagger uh, uh before the puddles even come out just don't stack with the dps try to get in front of her and start staggering before the puddles even happen and just when the puddles get to like here then you can go follow the puddles get two ticks go immediately right around behind her and keep staggering that is your job that is what you're here to do right don't you like look at this you're you have no loss what, what are you draining <laughs> i don't i don't know where you're draining here right there's there's nothing for the drain if i was one of those people behind i'd be more concerned i'd be like okay i need to start draining stuff but you have no loss you've been having no loss all the way from here like all the way up here to here you've had zero lust right it is it, it, it makes no sense for you to go with a dps and to you know drain it, it makes no sense so something to keep in mind something to notice right to instead you know instead of what you did just go immediately straight towards the boss start staggering when you see the pools come grab one tick go immediately around i'm like look i'm right behind her and i'm i'm still staggering i did not follow the puddles these guys didn't follow puddles because they still had a tick it's not you know their job to stagger my job is to stagger i have no lust i'm staggering right if i have no lust i'm staggering i'm just just continuously pressing buttons stagger keep staggering good good all the way up until the very end and then we stack nella everything you need to do is good dodge out in front of here okay and now i'm gonna see what you did here right see the difference L like look at the astronomical dip like just look at the astronomical difference was between uh, between like this rotation stagger versus like your rotation stagger right with my rotation i squeezed in i think like three total sets of show bash bash i can't even tell but it was like three or four sets i don't remember with this you've only gotten one set of show bash bash in that is like I that's three times the amount. Of like, and that's why I'm I keep telling like I that that is what you need to optimize is your uptime on this. You need to be able to know and prioritize uh, when to stagger and when to not stagger. That's that's the main difference between a good gun lancer and just an okay gun lancer at this point. So just just keep that in mind. This is good. Just play this out. Play this out. This is good. Okay. Um. Another quick tip here, you were standing bottom left, right? If you've noticed, whenever Vicus lands, she always lands facing bottom right, right? So, where should you be standing? Bottom right. Why? Because if you're standing bottom right and she's facing bottom right, you get free frontal attacks. Now, look, if you're here right now, right? How are you going to get frontal attacks here? You're going to miss out on that stagger. You have to walk all the way over here and then show bash bash to get staggered. Whereas if you're standing here to begin with, you can just go in, show bash bash, and get that free stagger. And I think that's what I do, right? We do the mech. Look, I'm here. I'm ready to go. Look, immediately after she lands, look at this. I'm 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 standing here. I'm ready to go. I'm keeping an eye on three. I'm here, right? I'm here. I'm I'm waiting for her to land. Whenever, as soon as she lands, show bash. I'm in there. Look immediate show bash bash into the rest of my stagger skills i use taunt to uh, uh drop my mana because of nightmare and the rest of my stagger skills do you have look at, there's another show bash bash another set like in that window i was able to get two sets of show bash bashing where is this yeah one set and that's it right so that's the difference like so far uh the way that i've been doing the the uptime has allowed me to squeeze in four extra sets of of show bash bash and that's where the difference in stagger lies you know being able to optimize those wins also you don't go here you go bottom right you're gun lancer you get your own privileges right you don't why, yeah don't go there don't go there this is fine though this is fine still 
taunt, bash, shield bash. What do you want? Yo, ow, ow. Whoa, oh. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Bowser's, where are you going? I, 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 talk to me. Talk, I, 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 I would love to know what you were thinking here. I, walk me through your thought process. What was the thought process here? Like, this under this was good. I love the show bash, a uh, show dash, a uh, 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 show charge. That was good. I like that. That was good. I like the taunt to drop. Actually, you're not. I don't like the taunt because you um your salvation. You're not a nightmare. If you're a nightmare, taunt would be justified. But you're not a nightmare, so the taunt is a waste. Um, and then this was fine. I guess you were like one step away from getting a frontal attack, but you didn't go for it. Uh, it's fine. You know, it is what it is. And then you purposely walk behind her to auto attack, and you kept auto attacking. Also, this is incredibly dangerous. Um, to dodge this pattern, she'll always do lines. Right, whenever she does these lines, whichever she never does lines across from where she is, right? So you don't actually need to dodge into like these safe spots here after it explodes. The easiest way is to see like, when you get to the last set, just look, look to see where the lines are oriented, right? In this case, you see, uh, these are what, 45 degrees or whatever diagonal lines. Whenever you see this, I would just walk here. I would just walk to the side of Icus and look this way or look away or wherever, right? Because this spot is always safe. You could even, if you're feeling risky, walk here and start staggering. This is a free stagger window. I I would probably not be doing this just because, you know, actually in the in the normal pug I would. But what you can do is you can just walk here because on the side of her is always going to be safe, right? Not necessarily on the side of her. Maybe sometime front and back if she does decide to do the lines the other way. But through her, like the diagonal through her is always going to be safe. So just walk over, walk over. I would probably walk over like here where my mouse is and just stagger, show bash, bash, dash up or fire, sh show shock, whatever you need to do, right? Also surge cannon, use this. You have the skill, you've used this like once so far. It, it does the most stagger. It needs to be used off CD. So it's it's a big investment, but that was good. That was good, this is fine. Show bash, bash. The little walk there was a little weird, but it's okay. Okay, here. Who the fuck just said bounce cut? Oh. <laughs> One day you will be, but God, my God. I believe in you, Bao. I believe in you, but I need to give you this critique right now. I I, I need to give you this critique. Otherwise, this is. Uh, uh, this is fine. I'm okay with you waiting here because your 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 thing was high. But also, oh, I, 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 I would love to know your thought process behind the show charge. Because like, why? I, I'm actually at a loss for words. <laughs> Just think of this like a Helton. I, I feel like once you started doing Vicus G3, all your knowledge of Helton just went out the window. You completely forgot about priorities, head attacks, everything. Like everything that was talked about in Helton just vamoosed out the window few things um first of all you are standing in a place where you're neither close enough to the boss where you can stagger or far away enough from the boss where you can get frame one ticked by the 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 uh the whatever it's called the lust puddle right the unlust puddle so you're just essentially standing there wasting you know time for on both fronts right both on the front of you getting lusted and both on the front of stagger right so pick one of those two things to do either stand closer to the boss so you can get frame one ticked by the puddle 
or stand closer to the clone so you can stagger more, right? And uh, like, what's the reason behind the show charge here? You, uh, you have so many better options. Show bash gets you the same distance. You know, dash upper fire into a back hop also gets you there. Just walking gets you there. You know, and you won't miss some puddles because walking is more consistent at getting puddles. So, uh, I, I mean, like, look, look, you're here. You're here. The puddles is here. That that's oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. You're like a mile away from the puddle. And you didn't even get the stagger on the boss. You didn't even get the frontal attack. And you kept... Uh, oh, uh, oh uh, Bao, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> oh my god. And, and, and you can't, you can't even... Uh, oh. And the puddle is now long gone. Show bash bash. Don't taunt your salvation. Stop stop taunting. Stop. At this point, no more taunts. Your salvation. Salvation means no more taunts, no more nellas at from this point forward. No more. As soon as you go into stagger phase, no more taunts, no more nellas. Unless you're nightmare, those skills should not be used. It's good, okay? Surge cannon. This, ca this class is listen. Surge cannon is one of your biggest dick stagger skills. Use fuck show shock. Get surge cannon off first. That's fine. That's good. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Once again, yep. Stand here. Once again, go bottom right. Go bottom right. That's fine. But try to go bottom right. Bash. Show, also, show bash bash. Show bash bash. Show bash bash. Uh, just like what we learned in Vault and we spent all this time in Vault and talking about this. Show bash bash. Right. That's your main combo. Show bash to gap close. Once she lands, you can use show bash like how in this video, right? Like we'll we'll watch up to like the second. Um, you can't even see, but you can kind of see by my character movement here, right? You see that little hop, the show bash. That's you see how my character like zip forward a little bit. That's the show bash. Show bash. It gets you there faster, and the stagger. It is. The best skill. It is just this skill. It's it's a really good skill for staggering, right? And look, we'll go into this. See, still staggering. Like after you do the thing, after Medusa, I go immediately back to middle. I'm staggering. That's all, that's all I'm doing. I'm just staggering, right? I don't just look around. I don't see what's going on. I just start staggering. Scout, scout. See, at this point, like even though my lust gauge is high, it's fine. Like some people play. I play a little risky here because I just. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> I didn't care that much, and I knew I had enough time to make it back. So look at this. Show bash, bash, and I walk back, I get the puddle, right? As soon as my lust is low, I don't go all the way. I turn back immediately, and I start staggering. Look, I'm here, I'm staggering, right? I'm staggering, I'm staggering, I'm staggering. When the boss leaves, never mind, we just stagger. See, that's a difference. That is a difference between the uptime and not necessarily having as much of time. You, this is the amount of difference you can make. The hope, I, I know I might sound like I'm being a little harsher, but this is like, this is a difference. You could save your team so much, it's not even trouble. You can just save your team so much, you know, potential death here by just having a little extra uptime. That little extra uptime, that's what, you know, that's what separates gun lancers, essentially. And and that's what I want you to have. That's what I want you to have. Uh, uh, as you play more, and I think you can get that. I think you can get there. I think you're getting more familiar. You're definitely getting more familiar with patterns. You're definitely doing a lot better. But you you, you just need to have high, that higher up time. You need to have that higher up time. You need to be able to greed more on patterns and just just don't be afraid. Stay calm. Don't be afraid. And just greet on those patterns that you know you can greet on. This is not a pattern that you can greet on. Do not greet on this pattern. If you get hit by a rain puddle, you fuck the entire run. So do not greet on this. Do not greet on this pattern. Okay, this is fine. You can greet here. This is good. Okay, nice. But overall, yeah, I mean, a lot to improve on. Definitely a lot to improve on this final stagger. Um, I will go over one more time just to quickly go over. Uh, all the places, but but um, I hope that you know you don't feel too bad about 
my criticism. I, I, I in like, uh, at the end of the day, I'm, the, I'm just, this is all just, you know, my end goal here is trying to make you and make anyone who may be still having questions on this part a better gun answer. So, uh, as harsh as my, as, as the criticism might sound, and I'm sorry if they did sound a little harsh, um, don't take it too much to heart. Just know that there are a lot of places that you could potentially squeeze in more uptime and that's going to help you get better. And that's what my intention is, right? To try to make you a better gun lancer player. So first of all, um, we'll start off in the beginning, right? We'll start off in the first part of this. Uh, first things first, when you start a fight, when you start the uh, enraged, enraged phase, you won't have as much lost bar. So what you should be doing is going up to the boss and staggering because of the free um, head attacks, right? You get free head attacks, you get a free head attacks here. So go instead of like, do what the, uh, is that? Do You can do what the gunslinger is doing, right? You can essentially walk up to the boss and start staggering. Yeah, that gu that gunslinger is actually popping off. Honestly. That's good. And you don't need to follow the puddle all the way. Remember, depending on how much gauge you have, you only need to follow the puddle like a little bit. So instead of doing this whole big long way where you literally follow the puddle all the way, just when, stay here, right? Stay right here. And when you see the puddle come through, just hop on the puddle train, you know, pop for a couple of puddles. Once you see that your lust is gone, zip right back behind her and just start, keep staggering. Just, just keep staggering, right? You don't need to follow this all the way. Just keep staggering, just keep staggering. Remember, show bash, bash. Once again, surge cannon, dash upper fire, use all your main stagger skills. Remember your stagger priority, right? After this, this is good. Do the mech, do the mech. If you're Nightmare here, you can be using Nella, you can be using whatever it is that you use to get your mana down, but you're not Nightmare, so this is fine. Here, when she lands here, remember, bottom right. Bottom right is where you wanna be. Bottom right, that gets you the free frontal attacks. Here, not to the side. To the side and behind her, gets you nothing, right? Remember here, mash buttons. Dash upper fire, show charge. You don't go top left. Do not listen to those bozos. You're special, you're different, you're cooler than them. You're better than them. <laughs> you go bottom. You go bottom right. Do not go with them to top left. You go bottom right, okay? You go bottom right for a few different reasons. First of all, it's less likely for you to get ticked by the lust if you are by yourself. And second of all, you get easy access to front attacks, right? So there's the reasons. Uh, go bottom right. You went top left here, which is fine, but now you know, right? I like the show charge to get in. This was good. The taunt here that you're about to do is unnecessary. Don't do this taunt. You are salvation, not nightmare. If you're nightmare, this would be okay. Uh, here, show bash, bash is fine. Do not move here. You don't need to move. You don't need to move for a while here. You can squeeze in one full rotation without moving here and you'll be perfectly fine. So don't move here. Show bash, bash, surge cannon, and then react, right? React, just for this part, do not greed here. Do not greed here unless it's the last one, right? Do not greed here because uh, these grids, they, they kind of suck. Just focus on dodging these unless you're an insane crackhead. Just focus on dodging these. And remember last one, last one is always gonna be lines. You don't need to dodge in between these lines, right? Just know this, take note of which way the lines are running and go to the middle, right? Find the line, find the phantom line that's running through Vicus and just stand there because that's always gonna be safe. This middle strip is always gonna be safe, right? And uh, as you play more, as you progress more, you can even take note of where the clone is, right? The clone's top right. So you can even stand here and look bottom left so you don't get hit by the Medusa. Also, you can't, uh, don't be afraid to stand, to look at the Medusa for like a second. It's fine. The Medusa doesn't do that much lust. It's a final hit. The final big wave, that's what does the most lust. So now you know, this is fine. This is perfectly fine though. Okay, right after, as soon, as soon as you see this, this explosion go off, watch. Three, two, one, boom, there it is. As soon as you see that go off, Shield bash, bash. You're in the perfect spot. Look at this. You're in the perfect shield bash to gash uh, to gap close. Bash to do more stagger. You can even try to squeeze in a surge cannon. I'm pretty sure you have enough time. To, you have you have more than enough time to squeeze in a surge cannon. So here, once again, depending on how risky you like to play it, if you just want to make sure it's a safe, nice, good clear, stand with the DPS. Otherwise, if you want to venture out a little more, be a little more adventurous, you can do the exact same thing that you did in the first one, where you go all the way out to the front, not uh, by, well, you should have done the first one, is what I meant to say, right? Where you go all the way out to the real clone, and you just keep staggering, and when you see the puddle spawn, you can do what I did, and walk back, right? So you can do the strat where I, 
I stagger, right? I see the puddle spawn. I'm walking back, and I hug the puddles. Hug, hug, hug. Like, by, the, by this point, look, I, my lust is at the exact same point, uh, at the exact same level as everyone else's. Just even though I got all the extra stagger in, right? So that's that's what you could do. You could be doing that. So that's the thing you could be doing, yep. In this case, you decide to stand with DPS, which is perfectly fine, perfectly respectable. Don't stand in the middle like this. Um, either stand back all the way to clear loss quicker, so you can squeeze in an extra shield bash, bash at the end, or you go in for the shield bash bash first, walk back, and then walk around. Doesn't matter, whatever feels more comfortable to you. Don't stand in the middle, middle is bad. Uh, you wait for the way all the way. Don't show charge here. Once again, show charge does nothing. Uh, show bash bash. Keep a note on your lust bar. Because um, by this point, look, everyone's lust bar is zero. You have lethargy. Show bash bash. Start staggering, right? Just start staggering. Stagger, good. Show shock. Surge cannon. Nice, good. Again, same strategy. Survive this and go bottom right. Bottom right is your heaven. That is your own private little place. That is where no one else can get to. If they are, kick them out. They're not welcomed. That is your place. You take control of that as gun lancer. Out, which is good. Show bash bash. Do not greet this pattern. Only greet if you're a psychopath. Uh, especially because especially if you're on if you're on like a fun run, you can greet it. But if you're on like a clear run, do not greet that pattern. Nice, search cannon. Nice. Uh so yeah. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully that will help you improve on your G3 stagger at least. G1, G2. Overall, um, your G1 was a little rough. Uh, it was okay. It was a little rough. A lot of CDs. My main thing I noticed is how often your CDs are off cooldown. Um, you don't want that to happen. Your CDs should always be on cooldown, especially as Blue Gun Lancer, because uptime is the name of the game for Blue Gun Lancer. Uh, your G2 was pretty nice. It was all right. It was, um, I liked it. It was not bad. A um, few things could be uh, could definitely be improved on. First of all, taunt up time. Your taunt up time was pretty good. I did enjoy it. Um, and your uh, nulla timing was a little weird. Try to only figure out what patterns your DPS are mainly dying to on nulla, and try to only nulla those patterns. Some of the patterns, like the the front kick, you don't need to nulla that. That's people that like, they'll live right. Like the 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 one where she sweeps you up and kicks you away. That one's uh, no, <laughs> no need to nail those, right? Uh, also on Deska, remember the nail on Deska. If you have Nella on Deska, just Nella. That will save your party. Your party will thank you. It will be very nice. Um, everything else, honestly, not much to talk about G2. Main, mainly just G1. Yeah, uptime G1 is definitely going to be more important. Taunt timings, uh, you, you'll work on it over time. Just doing more Helbia, it'll be better. And G3, overall pretty good, but just... I would go over that footage of you doing, um, of you doing the final stagger again, the desperation stagger, because that's how most people improve. Is they just go over, they they look around and they 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 go to a vod of their gameplay, and they see what and how they could have improved, um, on their on a certain part. Like it's the same for every game. Like when I first started Helbia, that's what I did. I looked back at my vod and I was like, okay, I probably could have squeezed in an extra shield bash bash there so i'm going to try that next time right i, I probably could have uh, uh stood there instead of here and i would have gotten a free head attack so i'm going to try that next time i think i have enough loss gauge uh, i think i have low enough loss gauge so i can read for a couple more head attacks before i stack with the team so i did that right and that's how that's how you want to that's essentially what you want to do for every class right you just want to go over your bot that's that's the basics of VOD reviewing. You go over your VOD and you see what you did wrong. You see what could have been improved, right? Don't, you know, uh, and the point of this isn't to, you know, uh, isn't to just like have uh, like a more experienced player. Like you're not always going to have a more experienced player tell you um, where you could be doing, like what you could be doing better, where you could be going wrong or whatever, right? The point of this is to train you to train you. What was my house training a fucking puppy? No, to teach you how to look back on your own gameplay and see and just think about how you could optimize. Like if it was me, I would have like looked back on my gameplay and I would be like, hmm, you know, maybe here I could have I could have used this rotation instead of this rotation. You know, maybe uh, like uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at my gameplay in decades. 
Like this is fine. Maybe like here I could have nullified, I could have taunted instead of just standing here. Like right here, I just stood. Like I look, I just stood there and I just walked around. Right? What could I be doing? I probably could have nullified to drop my nightmare down a little bit. I probably could have taunted to drop my nightmare down, uh, and then I could have gone with show bash bash, and then I would be in nightmare faster. Right? My rotation was good. See, look, I wasted a taunt. I wasted some time to taunt there instead of using one of my stagger skills, which is not good. Right? So instead, I probably could have been doing that instead. This was good. Everything else was good. Right, right, right. I'm seeing what I'm doing. Right. This was good. To uh, to do more stagger, I probably could show charge back. I did not show charge back. All I did was walk back and I I show bash bash. Right. So that's probably what that's what I could be doing better. I I could show charge back and I could show bash into it. So that's the thing you need to be looking at. You need to be looking at gameplay. You need to be noticing. Okay, I'm not doing anything here. Could I be doing something instead of not doing something? Or okay, I did this here and this happened. Could I be doing something instead that will impact what is potentially about to come? That's the kind of thing you need to be thinking into. But overall, not bad. I think definitely a lot more room to grow, and I think you will be doing better from this point on. And you did say this was one of your worst posts, so hi, uh, no advance and now later. Ah, it's okay. One day, one day. I, I, I believe in you. I believe in you, Bao. I believe in. You. I have faith in you. You got this. All right. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't, I didn't criticize you too much. I hope I didn't criticize you too bad. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, it was in good intentions. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, hope. Y'all have a good rest of your day. I'm going to get some water and take a nap now and not upload again for another three months. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Bye. <laughs>